I really hope you win tonight and get your title match with The Miz. I'm so sick of... You'll be the first active superstar... What's at stake here? If Bruce can defeat Bo Dallas, he'll earn a shot at Miz's Intercontinental Championship. And keep in mind, per Kurt Angle's decision, if the Miz interferes on Bo's behalf, Buzz will still get his title shot. Why doesn't Angle just hand Buzz the Intercontinental title? I mean, he's giving him every possible advantage. I believe the goal is to make sure it's a fair match without involvement from the Miz. Well, after this match, you and Buzz might be Bo leaving otherwise. Nice. Thunderous slam. Long distance drop. What a stop. Good grief. He's going for it all. This is attack. Bo Dallas starting to falter now. He needs to create some space and find a way to get back on the offensive. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy oh, in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. This is the beginning of the end. Is he done? Looks like he has other plans here. I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. Stop on the oh. leg snap. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Tear your hamstring. Now in full control. He's barking about something now. This is uncalled for. Got him up. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Here we go. Back inside the ring. Neck breaker. Will Buck? This might be it. Come on. Hooks two. What's Miz doing? What the heck? Why would Miz punch Bo Dallas? Wait a minute! The Miz is a genius. Since he hit Bo, Buzz got disqualified and doesn't get an Intercontinental title shot. The Miz found a way around... Yet again, The Miz finds a loophole to avoid defending the title. I know. I'm just as frustrated as you are. So what are you gonna do about it? I'd like to give you your title shot anyway. But unfortunately, I just got off the phone with Triple H. And he said that since Bo Dallas technically won, you don't get to face The Miz. Triple H can just overrule you like that? Unfortunately, when push comes to shove, he can. And I'm not surprised that he did, given your history with him. All right, well, if Miz and Triple H are refusing to give me an opportunity, then maybe I need to make my own. Opportunity? No. Title. I know a guy who can help me out. You do whatever you think you need to do.
Hey, Cole. I need a favor. It's short notice, but you did such a good job making the titles for BCW that I wanted to see if you could make me a custom title for me to use on Monday Night Raw. <sighs> Fine. I promise to call you more often, not just when I need something. All right, I'll email you some design ideas, but one thing I do know is that my title will only be defended in Thanks, man. You're the best. Yes, I still have the lucky keychain you gave me. But I gotta run. Thanks. Ugh. You're offering me a chance? I am The Miz, and this is my lovely wife, Maurice. Say something to the audience, Maurice. That was wonderful, honey. You truly bring so much to the table, 
and are certainly not just window dressing whose sole purpose of being in WWE is to follow me around from town to town, ironing my weird matrix cloak dress that I wear. When my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. When my right foot goes in, your right foot goes out. When my right foot goes in, you shake it all about. You do the stupid Miz dance and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Because I'm the Miz and I'm awful. Since apparently our GM either thinks this is funny, which is impossible, or is just not paying attention to his own show, I am this close, this close, to dialing 911 to report two counts of aggravated character assassination. Whoa, 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 Miz. Sasha and I were just having a little bit of fun out here. No need to go overboard. I mean, besides, you didn't even let me get to the best part other than showing everybody how big of a goof you are, the whole point of tonight was to debut my new singles title. You see, since you refused to give me an intercontinental title shot, and then Triple H back to your little scheme with loser Bo Dallas, I was forced to make a title of my own. You created your own title? Wow. What do you think this is? WWE 2K19? This is real life. It's not pretend time. You don't get to make up your titles. In fact, this is the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. And I've seen your matches on the indies. You want to talk about pathetic? I think someone who refuses to defend their title, that's pathetic. Because even though this championship is brand new, it already holds more value than yours because I'm not going to hide behind it. I'm going to defend it against anyone at any time. All right, champ. I have someone you can defend your made-up title against. Someone who's still waiting for payback for a broken guitar. Like I said, anyone at any time. But you didn't give me a chance to explain that my title has some special conditions for how it must be defended. What do you mean? Like the matches can only be held in high school gyms? Or there can't be more than 200 people in attendance? (laughs) Not exactly. My title will only be defended in no disqualification matches. I can't believe Bob just sprung this title match stipulation on Elias. It's completely unfair. I actually think it's kind of nice to see Buzz pull one over on his opponents for a change. I agree. We're so accustomed to seeing Buzz at a disadvantage. Finally tonight, he gets a match on his terms. I thought broadcast journalists weren't supposed to be biased, but I guess I was wrong.
starting to falter. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. You never want to count a competitor out, but things don't oh. seem to be going in his favor here tonight. <laughs> oh, man! Big time. Not good for the back and body. Wow, the crowd's on the edge of their seats. He's got plenty of gas left in the tank. Still in it. The end may be near. Beautiful technique. Elias definitely starting to crack here. The challenger's hopes of becoming champion appear to be in serious jeopardy right now. Ooh. If he wants to win this thing, he's going to need to make some changes here. There's no way he can stay in this match if he doesn't find a way to fend off this attack. He's not looking like himself right now, and I hate to say it, but this might be the beginning of the end for him here. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He's playing with him now. He wants no part of this. Spine buster. Could lead to a big time win. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Just as ruthless as the first time we saw. His shoulders are down. What is keeping this competitor going? There is no quit in this man tonight. We've seen this before. <laughs> Here's his, the champion into the cover. Two, three. Whether you like it or not, there's the match right there. And here's another glance at these superstars in action. No doubt about it, he brought his A game, as you can see here. Here is your winner, and still, action champion, the superstar. That's an impressive win right there. That's a big win right there. Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor's shoulders to the mat for the three count, you should be proud. With that win of the books, we must now move on. You showed up a few weeks ago on my show acting like you own the place. You insult me and my wife and then cut every corner possible by creating your own title. Not to mention forcing Elias to compete with a random stipulation he wasn't prepared for. Well, I am sick of it. You want your match? You got it. My legitimate, illustrious title versus your second-rate imaginary title. At Hell in the Cell, we're done playing make-believe because I'm gonna show you what it's like to live in the real world. Buzz has his match with The Miz, so what's Kurt Angle doing out here? I'm glad you two are finally going to face off, one-on-one. -on -one. That's right, Maurice, Elias, and The Miz will be banned for Brigside. And since Buzz's title is on the line, the match will be held under his title stipulations, which means it will be a no DQ match. Oh, you gotta be kidding me.
Here we go. Bunch's title and the Intercontinental title are on the line tonight in a no DQ match at WWE Hell in a Cell. Buzz has everything to gain and nothing to lose. His made up title is absolutely meaningless. If that's true, then why did Miz issue the challenge? Because, like most of us, he was tired of Buzz's antics and thought this would shut him up for once and for all. Little did he know that thanks to a wonderful GM, he'd have to compete under Buzz's ridiculous rules. Well, none of this would have happened if Miz hadn't weaseled his way out of an intercontinental title defense. Nonetheless, that's all history, and certainly more history will be made tonight. Guys, these superstars really do appear to be in peak physical condition here tonight, which isn't surprising considering what's on the line here in this championship match. in a tough spot now. His championship reign may very well be holding on by a thread. I gotta agree with you, Michael. These superstars are in tremendous shape. And from what I understand, the champ has been hitting the gym twice daily in preparation for tonight. I heard the same thing, Saxton. Once in the morning, then again at night after the show. Which makes me wonder when the champ actually sleeps. If at all. Gentlemen, the Miz may be fading away here. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this match. He has got to fight back. If by some miracle he goes on to win this match, we'll be talking about this comeback for generations to come. Ooh, earth shattering spine buster. The Miz getting outclassed here tonight, guys. And he got a near fall out of it. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. fellas, some people are speculating whether the champ should have to defend the gold against what some are calling inferior competition here tonight. Oh boy, he is rolling. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. He's got to get himself out of it now. Oh, right to the side of the face. The Miz is showboating, but I'm not sure this occasion calls for it. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Corey, I think you're just trying to drum up controversy. I haven't heard any whispers about the champion having to defend against inferior competition. Yeah, inferior competition? That's nuts. I'm willing to bet the champ started that rumor in an attempt to get into his opposition's head. Either that or... Big time. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you got going for the cover. Two, three. The champion retains. Now's a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. He really put on a great show. You're looking at the first ever superstar to simultaneously hold the Intercontinental title, and for lack of a better term, the Buzz title. Yeah, his carry-on bag just got a little bit heavier. Yeah, if I were the Miz, I, this match would be under protest. It should have never taken place under these rules. Well, it did, and now we have a new champion. You can protest all you want, but it's not going to change what happened.
You did it. You finally shut up the Miz. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I did beat him and take his Intercontinental title. That's good enough. <laughs> but thanks for helping me along the way. We make a pretty good team out there. We did. <laughs> if you ever need someone to dress up in a ridiculous costume to send a message to one of your opponents, I'm your guy. I'll remember that. <laughs> hey, Sasha, you mind if I have a moment to talk business with the champ? Yeah, no problem. I was thinking about calling myself Champ Squared, actually. Yeah, about that. Not to put a damper on your big victory, but according to WWE regulations, you're only allowed to hold one singles title at a time. I could try to circumvent the rules and let you hold both, but Triple H would just force you to vacate one anyway. You really know how to ruin a party. I'm sorry. So which title would you like to keep? That had to be a tough decision. If it's any consolation, I'll give you the rest of the night to celebrate with both championships. Thanks. <laughs>